The former Episcopal bishop that struck and killed a bicyclist on Roland Avenue back in 2014 will be released from prison in the next few weeks. Yeah, Heather Cook was driving drunk when she hit and killed Tom Palermo on his bike. WMAR 2 News' Skylar Henry sat down with Cook's attorney about what life is going to look like for Cook outside of prison. Everything on Roland Avenue has pedaled on since December 2014, except the ghost bike memorializing what happened here the night Tom Palermo took his final ride. Now, nearly five years after Heather Cook was convicted of hitting and killing the husband and father of two while drunk and texting, she's expected to be getting out. Sometime this month, Skyler, Heather Cook will be released from Jessup and she'll go home to live, but she'll be under the supervision for the next five years of the parole and probation department. Cook's attorney, David Irwin, says the former Episcopal bishop will have served more than 50% of her sentence, beyond the average time served for anyone convicted for a similar crime. She understands the horrific result of her offense, of her conduct. And she threw herself into helping other women in prison who had substance abuse problems, alcoholism, uh, abusive relationships, and the stigma of incarceration. Life on the outside for Cook, Gerwin says, will be presumably restrictive. No leaving the state, no clergy leadership position, and more than likely, if she is allowed to drive again, she can't get behind a wheel without a breathalyzer test. There may well be components of alcohol substance abuse treatment that the probation office decides that she has to um, partake in. So there are all sorts of supervision and um, rules that she will have to follow even after she's released. Now, Valermo's family didn't want to talk, but has long pushed for Cook to serve a full sentence, playing a part in her parole requests being denied. But if justice will have been served is subjective at this point, as Cook's time in prison appears to be coming to a close and the hearts of Tom's family continues to break and stand still. In Baltimore, I'm Skyler Henry, WMAR 2 News.